Um, well, I stopped at Speedway. Before, be, wait, wait, wait. Before you say where you stopped, okay. the night before you bought your tickets, you didn't get much sleep, you told me, because you had a babysitting job for a two-year-old. So you were a, a bundle of nerves. So after the babysitting, you stopped over at another retailer. What happened? Um, well, I got my Powerade, my free Powerade that I had coming. And <laughs> That's priority number one. And I was having a bad day, so I just put... I was feeling lucky, I thought something had to give, so I bought a ticket, a couple tickets didn't win, then I bought a ticket and won $40, and then I left, and then I started driving home and stopped here, because I said I was still feeling kind of lucky. And, and why here? Because um, it was on the way, and I stopped here. Often? Often, yeah, good <laughs> gas, because I like the people that work here, and fun and friendly, and everybody's nice, and... Um, I decided to come buy some more lottery tickets. Yes. And then how, how did you handle that? You were going to reinvest and tell us about what happened. You walked up to the first clerk and what happened? Um, I asked what, ticket, what numbers two of the tickets were on. And he said one was 46 and one was 19. And so I got the 46 and won $20. So I said, okay, I'll take the other one and didn't win. And I said, well, I'll take another one got more money in my pocket and um i said i'll take the next one for my nana because it was 18. And, and at this point did you shift over from one clerk to another clerk oh yes i did i said i i said i'm gonna move over because he's lucky and um so i <laughs> bought a ticket there i got that one and um i didn't win so i said okay well i'll take the next one because it's 18. and he handed it to me and it was 20. and i said oh i forgot your tickets go up and he said do you want to trade it and i said no of course not he was joking he knew I wouldn't do that and then um, so there was nobody else here so I just started scratching and you know. started scratching the ticket in yeah. the store tell the us store. show right us your the technique the show us your technique right, right there um, well I just was standing on the counter and I stretched all the numbers on the top and then I scratched this number and it matched this number so I said oh that could be lucky and then I scratched the next number and it was my favorite number 22 and I scratched the next number it was my dad's birthday and then I got to 43 and I'm like, oh, I don't know what that is. And I just happened to notice there was a 43 up here. So I just happened to scratch it and I couldn't really see very well because I had my sunglasses on and I looked at him and he looked at me and I said, well, uh, uh, I couldn't talk at that point, I don't think. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. So you scratched the 43 and rather than continuing to right. scratch the rest of the numbers like you generally do, you told me, right. you saw a portion of what the winning uh, uh, prize was. Well, and you saw what? I just saw a lot of numbers. And so I kind of looked and I tried to focus on it and figure out what it said. And I'm like, oh, uh, and that's when I just... Wait, 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 wait. Did, you, did, you, did you realize that was $5 yes, million? I dollars? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. <laughs> and, and then what happened? Um, and you showed it to me. I showed it to John. And he said, yeah, and he just said, dang, girl, you got it. And gave me a high five. And um, I just started pacing back and forth through the store and because there was another customer there. So I just kept, this is what I remember anyway, <laughs> pacing around. And, and I was like, what do I do? What do I do? And he says, put it in your pocket and go.